going shopping for Christmas. So I found a recipe that is supposed to be better than Starbucks lemon loaf cake. Thank you Anchor for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited to tell you guys about the Anchor portable charging station. It is amazing. It's gonna be the perfect gift for my husband. So make sure to stick around because I, I can't wait to tell you more about it. This morning, we are just kind of having a lazy morning before we start getting ready and go to school. Layla Jane has been going to a new school now for a few weeks and doing pretty well and liking it. I still always make sure I have a treat when I pick her up if she has no tears when I drop her off. So Layla, what treat do you want today? A peanut butter cut. A peanut butter cut? If there's no tears when I drop her off. I know that's bribery, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Today though, while Layla's in school, do you know what mommy's gonna do? Uh -huh. What? Blow up things. <gasps> Am I gonna blow up things? No, I don't think I'll blow up things today. I'm actually gonna go Christmas shopping for you for some Christmas presents. So Layla, what are some things you want for Christmas? A jump rope. You want a jump rope. I know you have been saying that, haven't you? You haven't really said anything else besides a jump rope. And a hot air balloon Peppa. So a hot air balloon Peppa, okay. And, and a hotel Peppa. The hotel Peppa? I will look for those. <laughs> but I am going to Target today, so I'll see what I can get at Target. Might have to order a few things too, but I know Target is having some deals right now on their toys, so I wanna go take a peek and try to take advantage of those. After I drop this little girl off, um, we will be going shopping for Christmas. Actually, before we even go, I think I'm gonna show you the gift I got for Brian, because I think it's a really cool gift. Brian and I usually don't give each other big Christmas gifts. We'd rather spend our money doing fun activities with the family, like going to like Arrowhead or Big Bear and doing little Christmas vacations. But this year, I thought it would be fun just to do a few little things to give him and something that I really know he needs. That is this Anchor portable charging station. I realized we needed this for two reasons. One is because we are going to be doing a camping trip in the next few months, and it's going to be perfect to have this with us because there will not be any outlets to charge our phones, charge Layla's Kindle, anything like that. So we will be bringing this with us, and it's going to be amazing because we'll be able to keep everything charged and working while we're on our camping trip. The other reason I decided to get him this is because a couple days before Thanksgiving, there's a big fire here in South Orange County and all of our power got shut off. And we were sitting here with no way to charge our phones, get in contact with people because all of our devices died. Um, obviously the power was out. We had just moved here. Um, not too long ago, so we didn't know where our flashlights were. I mean, it was awful. We were so unprepared. So just in case anything like that ever happens again, we wanna make sure we have a good solid power station for any crisis like that. And this one also comes with a light on it. So we'll have light too if we do lose our power. This is powered by a lithium ion phosphate battery, which has six times longer power charge than conventional batteries. With one charge on this, you can charge an ion iPhone 20 times and a MacBook four to five times completely, which is amazing. So this will definitely last us through our camping trip. The premium battery is super safe. It charges in about two and a half hours completely. It has solar recharge. And as I mentioned earlier, it's totally portable. So you can take this anywhere. And it's gonna help us if we ever have a blackout again, because we have this light that can last for up to 16 hours. You can also simultaneously charge multiple devices on here. It has two AC outlets, one USB-C port, and two USB-A ports, and one vehicle charger too. So even if you only have your car charger, you can still charge your phone on here. There's a link in the description below where you can find this Anchor portable charging station. I highly recommend it. It's just wonderful to have in emergencies. And also, like I mentioned, for camping trips, this is going to be perfect. Dropped off 
Layla and there are no tears. It looks like I'm getting her a Reese's peanut butter cup. Now I'm at my happy place Target and especially a happy place when I get to shop by myself and I don't have Layla with me. This is gonna be fun. Definitely gotta check out the dollar section. It's always a great spot to find little stocking stuffers. I actually already see something that I know she'll love. Peppa Pig, this will go in her stocking. Last year, I feel like I went a little overboard. I feel like Brian and I went overboard on her Christmas presents. I think it's easy to do. You get kind of caught up in Christmas and you just wanna give your kids everything they want. But I'm not gonna do that this year. I really am gonna try to stick to a budget and just not make it all about the gifts because she gets so much from grand parents and other people too. So we did get her one really big item and that is one of those ride on Jeeps and that's going to be like her big ticket item. So everything else is just going to be a little bit smaller and I'm setting a budget of maybe like a hundred dollars and I'm not going to go over that. So I, I'm really going to try to stick to that this year because I know there's going to be Santa toys and then as I mentioned, toys from family too. And so I think $100 is a good limit. Okay, just saw 20% off of sleepwear. That's a pretty good deal. So I might get her some cute Christmas pajamas just to have for now. Layla is starting to get to the age where she can start playing games. So I thought one gift should definitely be a game that we can play as a family. I remember this game was around when I was a kid. Don't break the ice. So, and it says three plus. Maybe this will be the way to go. I don't know, that could be a fun one. That's something we could all do together. So it's a gift, but it's also kind of a family gift. Layla loves puzzles too. And I like the idea of puzzles because it's using her mind and I love games and toys like that. And this Melissa and Doug one, they're little blocks, but there's like six different scenes on here. So that'll keep her pretty busy and entertained. And I think this will go a long way. Unfortunately, it looks like a lot of the Peppa stuff is picked over. There's like this one little, Peppa bedtime thing, uh, but she has a ton of like Peppa figures. And then the only other Peppa thing I see is this big Peppa Pig play center. So if I'm only gonna get her one of one Peppa thing, I wanna make sure I get her the one she wants. So I think I'm just gonna pass on the Peppa stuff that's here. Layla is also obsessed with anything having to do with airplanes, helicopters, or rockets. Now she has a ton of airplane and helicopter toys. So I'm not gonna get her any more of that, but I just stumbled upon these these stomp rockets. I think she would get such a kick out of this. And it's a great toy that would get her outside and out of in front from in front of the TV. So I am all for this and definitely getting this one. Oh, but wait a minute. This one glows in the dark. And it even says it's for ages three and up. So this one would be perfect. Not really a toy, but gingerbread houses, which we do every year are 20% off. So I'm gonna get one of these for sure. Done in the toy section. I feel like I got everything that I could find here. I'm gonna go home now and wrap some of this stuff and also look on Amazon and show you some other things that I'm gonna order. Just got back home and um, I've spent about $50 roughly so far on three toys. And as you can see, I switched out the games. As I was leaving, I saw this in a different area and I remembered Layla Jane had pointed this out and wanted this. And I remember this game from when I was a kid too. So I thought this would be a fun one. So I got this instead, although I might regret it because I noticed it says it plays Baby Shark song the whole time it's going. Wish I would have seen that before, but that's okay. Layla loves it, it's for her. And I got a few of my stocking stuffers and added in um, a chocolate Santa because you always have to have a chocolate Santa in your stocking. That's what I believe. Um, but I'm gonna show you some of the other things that I'm going to order from online that I think my three-year-old daughter will love. Layla's kind of going through a phase right now where she doesn't like the bath. And so I thought one thing I should definitely do is get her some fun bath toys. She's super into blocks now. So I found these really cool um, foam bath blocks and it even comes with a floating mat so she can build things while she's in the bathtub so I think that would be super cool for her and the last two things are the ones she specifically requested a jump rope I looked at Target and they only had like adult workout jump ropes so I wanted to make sure I got one that was more appropriate for toddlers so I'm ordering that off Amazon and then I looked at the Peppa Pig thing and I could not find a Peppa Pig hotel, but I do know what she means when she says the Peppa Pig hot air balloon. It looks kind of like a balloon, but it's just these really like little surprise toys. So I'm gonna order those off Amazon too. And then that will get me to $96. So I made it under my $100, even including the stocking stuffers that I got. 
So while I was sitting here wrapping these gifts, I remembered that I had that 25% off toys at Target. So I went back and recalculated and I actually have about 10 to $15 like wiggle room left. So that means I can get a little bit more stocking stuffers for Layla. I got the bath bomb drops and I got the Peppa Pig Wonder Wow and I got the chocolate, and then I also got her a little cotton candy flavored chapstick. So I know exactly what I'm going to get her. On Amazon, they have these no spill bubbles. So I'm gonna get those for her for sure, because I think she loves bubbles and I can't stand them because she always wants to do it herself and she spills them everywhere, so this will be perfect. And the last thing are some of those do a dot markers. I've never actually gotten those for her, but I think they're so cute and it'll be something new and something she'll really like. I'll put a link to everything that I am getting my daughter down in the description below if you think your kids, nieces, nephews, friends, anyone would like these gifts too. So now I have to figure out if I'm going to attempt to put all of these wrapped presents under the tree this early. Last year I wasn't able to. I put a few out and Layla Jane threw a fit because she could not understand why there were gifts there waiting for her and she was not able to open them. So I don't know. I still feel like it might be an issue this year. So I might put one little gift down that her grandma sent her that's wrapped and it'll be kind of a tester to see if she throws a fit or she understands that you're supposed to wait till Christmas. And just like that, it's almost time to go pick up Layla Jane. She's only in school for three hours and it goes by so fast. So before I go, I'm gonna set up a little activity to have for when she gets home. She collected a bunch of pine cones yesterday and she wants to paint them. So I thought that'd be a cute idea. So I'm gonna have that all set up for her and we'll probably end up baking something when she gets home too. So I'm gonna get that prepped. That's from grandma, but it's for Christmas time. So we gotta wait till Christmas. Just got home and she's already spotted the present under the tree. Yeah, Grandma, isn't that for Christmas morning? You can open it. Not for Christmas morning. Oh, not for Christmas morning? Oh, when do you think we'll open it? Uh, today. Today? But it's for Christmas. I know that, Daddy. Well, she seems to be distracted from the, G the GIFT, um, but. I think I'm still not gonna put any of them out yet because I don't wanna have to deal with answering the question why they can't be opened every single day until Christmas. So we got at least another year of not putting any gifts under the tree. She used to love to paint and that would keep her busy forever. Um, but lately, she seems like she wants to, but then I put it all out. I make sure like there's no paint, can get anywhere, and she spends like two minutes and then she's done. So if you noticed, I did not get her any paint supplies for Christmas. <laughs> well, I am striking out left and right with activities this afternoon. So I thought we would make something because ever since you know we kind of got into the holiday season, we have been really into baking new things and trying new recipes, and Layla has been really wanting to make a lemon loaf cake because she had it um, at Starbucks the other day. So I found a recipe that is supposed to be better than Starbucks lemon loaf cake. So I thought this would be a surefire win, but no, she told me she's gonna watch The Grinch and to let her know when it's done. So I see where this is going. Are you helping now? Of course, you come over for stirring and to maybe try some of the batter. This smells so good. I'm not even waiting for it to cool. I'm cutting out a little bite now. Just a little, because she hasn't had dinner yet, so don't want her to have too much. Well, Layla just went upstairs, so I'm gonna try it without her. I'm not waiting. Oh, Layla, this is really good. I think that is better than Starbucks. <laughs> I won't eat it all. Okay, so I'm putting down the description below all the gifts I got and the recipe to this, because this is pretty amazing.